on draft night, it kind of caused a little bit of a stir with Alex Leatherwood, but come to find out that he had been on your radar for quite some time, going all the way back to maybe his sophomore year at mm -hmm. Alabama. Mm -hmm. What initially drew you to him, and, and did you guys monitor that throughout the uh, course of his career over there? Sure we did. You know, I think uh, when, when those guys kind of present themselves when they're young, you do kind of keep an eye on them. Um, you dig in a little deeper just to make sure you're right. Um, but... You know, what we were looking for was a guy that would play every down at right tackle for us and be available all the time. And someone who was really highly, highly competitive. And um, that's certainly where he came from in that program. That's kind of a way of life for those kids. And then the competition he faced in the SEC, um, I don't know that anything prepares you as well for the NFL as that league. Andre James has kind of been in your uh, laboratory the mm -hmm. last couple of years. Um, you know, when it came to having to move on from Rodney Hudson, is that a discussion that you have with Coach Gruden in terms of we're going to be all right? We've got a guy that I, that I that's been putting in the work. I've been watching him, and we feel good about this transition. Yeah, you know, you can't, you don't move on from a guy like Rodney unless you know that you've got something in place already. You know, if you've got to go get it, whether that be free agency or the draft, uh, I think you're leaving yourself open for failure. You know, and uh, he didn't get to play it all last year because Rodney stayed healthy, but. The year prior, uh, making the transition from never being a center to two games, Detroit and Houston. And then last year, his growth just continued. And, and he's really taken off. I'm really excited about what I think he can do. And But like like Alex for Andre, it'll be about getting enough NFL snaps in him. You know, getting, they're both going to have an issue here or there. We want to make that as smooth, getting through it, learn from it, grow from it, and then never let it happen again. And I think that, that he's... A couple years older than Alex, so he already understands that piece, and, and so he's good for Alex in that regard. And Alex Leatherwood is very cool, calm, collected, very business-minded and reserved. Would you say is that something that you kind of like about his personality as a player? Yeah, definitely. I, I wanted someone that would, would be here every day that you could count on, that loved the game like the rest of them do. Um, he is He's very introverted. Um, sometimes he can be even a little bit nerdy, which is cool for an old lineman. And I don't have to worry about him out raising hell or doing this or doing that. And, and he's a pretty focused guy. Um, that was all part of that earlier question, you know, that that went into selecting him. This was a guy that really cared about football. Uh, extreme competitor. I think that was probably my number one characteristic that I loved about him, that he loved to play and he loves to be great. And, and as he fails, he learns. And that's the really cool part. And you see him every day just do something a little bit, little bit better. So this preseason will be really, really important. But he's been, he's been excellent.